Don't think that every rich man is in the occult. There are so many rich men that have altar. They have praying altar. When you are asking God to lift you, oh Lord, lift me. I want you to understand that it's the lifting that will come. Rulers of darkness will come. There is a certain amount of money you can never make in this world until a spirit backs you up. No, I heard a story about a particular flight company in Nigeria here. That every single time their flight takes off, intercessors begin to pray for that flight. And yet you can see the man come and be talking about certain things. You don't know the backings. That they know the power. that When they crash your plane like four or five times, your oh business don't go. Hope you are aware. And don't think that every one of them, they don't think that every rich man is in the occult. There are so many rich men that have altar. They have praying altar. You might not see them where they are doing shaba, 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 shaba. But they have a covenant with God. Not every one of us will hold microphone. Some of us are apostles in the marketplace. You are in that marketplace. You are representative of Christ. Are we no longer ambassadors of Christ? I remember when Ezra Moss began to do video for me. They were making video. Ah, that prophet Emmanuel, some of them said, I will die. Chineke, look at me. Oh. People don't eat. I'm someone that can't just wake up and die. We don't die like that. Christians don't just die. That is why before we started this journey, God killed us first before we started it. Isn't that the reason for the water baptism? You died in Christ. And when he resurrected, you resurrected with him. But the problem we have in the body of Christ, not really the body of Christ, the problem we have with most believers is the understanding to know what they carry. 